all have neighbors. But have you ever taken time to find out about your neighbor? Well, some of us stay with people, but we do not know their names. We do not know what they do, not even a little thing about their family. Yet this is so crucial to our personal security. We headed to the Nansana neighborhood in Kampala to find out how much the residents here know about their neighbors. Your neighbor who stays in that door? Mm, there. I only just see a lady there, but I don't know much about her. Mm. I just see her coming home, coming back from work. Sometimes I, I don't, okay, I don't normally see her. Ime Nansamba has been living here for over a year, but she's not sure of some of her immediate neighbor's name. Do you know your neighbor? This one who stays here. Yes, I know his name is Mr. Michael. Michael is not her neighbor's real name, as she claims. In this era of terrorism, the police have always asked the public to get to know their neighbors more, but their advice has apparently fallen on deaf ears. The population of Uganda is roughly 35 million, and the police is roughly 40,000. Now, the relationship between the policeman and the population is 1 to almost 500. How can we be able to respond to all emergencies if people don't help each other? The neighborhood watch is difficult to be affected in upscale suburbs, where people live in homes with high perimeter walls, where everyone minds their own business. Way back in the 90s, at the time of the local council system, new residents to an area were required to present introduction letters from leaders of their former places of abode. But that system is no longer being applied. Not knowing their neighbors, what they are, uh, is actually common in our area because that problem comes from the landlords who don't introduce the newcomers who have come to their premises to introduce them to the LOC officials. We expect that LOCs will be able to avail us with records of people residing in the areas. Some LOCs are doing so, some others are refusing intentionally just because they don't want to threaten their people within their community. Police say this attitude of people distancing themselves from those who live in their vicinity threatens security. Criminals stay with us. You may not know what your neighbor actually does. What you only see, he comes and sleeps the whole day. He goes out at 8 in the evening, 8 p.m., and comes back at 1 a.m. within the night with loads and loads of items. The situation is quite different in slum areas like Chisenyi, Kamocha, Nakulabi, where people interact more with their neighbors. The cramped surroundings compel the locals to get to know each other. In upscale suburbs like Moyenga, Buziga, Munyonyo and Bugolovi, the practice is quite the opposite. In fact, in the past, we have heard stories of criminals renting houses in such places and operating without the knowledge of their neighbors. We are even suggesting, we, we even talked to the executive director to come and see how we can trim these walls so that we can have the standard height required, which is one meter point two. The residents in Muyenga, along with police, have introduced community policing where they have door to door visits to encourage neighbors to know each other. We designed a form which is called Neighborhood Watch and Feedback Form, where people can can fill and give us information. You don't have to give out your ID or address. You can even you can use a code and then the police or other relevant authorities can follow up the matter. Police say that if community policing is strengthened in all the other areas, it is likely to tackle security threats that arise from this problem. Gertrude Tumusime Uitkwari, NTV.